Good morning. I would like to start today telling you that we are all different. I know that's not a new information. Anyway, I don't know if you already thought about that, but you probably had in your life an amazing opportunity, something that helped you to be in the university you are, helped you to be in the job position you are, or just helped you to be who you are today. And those opportunities make us different. I was born in a little city in Brazil called Macau. But when I was eight years old, I moved with my parents to a bigger city in the middle of the Amazon, of Manaus. It was awesome. I was in a bigger city. It was incredible. But the opportunity I had that changed my life, it was far from me. It was in Sao Paulo, the largest city that we have in Brazil. And I had to travel more than 1,500 miles to get that opportunity. I was going to Sao Paulo for the first time, the largest city in Brazil, to attend the science fair, the biggest national science fair that we have there for high school students. I was 16 years old and I was so excited because we had, at that time, more than 300 projects, more than 600 students from around all the country. It was so many people, so many smart people. And I was, oh my, that's awesome. I, I'm showing my project to a lot of people and I'm knowing a lot of people that are still having the same experience that I had making my projects. They are, still, they are having the experience making their projects too. It was incredible. But the number that caught my attention, it was a five. Five was the number of projects representing my state at Febrasi. And I realized that five was also, also the number of projects representing my school at Febrasi. Meaning that the number of projects representing my state coming from other schools was zero. In a 16 years old boy's mind, maybe a good thing, you know, my school rocks. We are just us here. Anyway, it was an incredible experience. It was uh, incredible. And that opportunity gave me, gave me one more opportunity. I came to US for the first time to attend the Intel ISA, the biggest, the largest science fair in the world. It was, oh my God, more than 700 projects more than 1,500 students from around the entire world. It was huge, incredible. I could not believe where I was. You know, I was, I was born in a little city in Brazil. I was in Los Angeles presenting my project to Nobel Prize winners. It was incredible. But when I came back home, the numbers five and zero were still in my mind. But now, not as a good thing anymore. I was thinking about my friends from other schools. Why they're, why they're not attending science fairs? Why they're not getting the chance to go to Los Angeles to, to present their projects? for Nobel Prize winners. Why? And for the first time, I asked myself, what could I do to give the same opportunity to other people? 
I was not ready to answer, but you know, I was asking myself, I was trying to figure it out. Maybe just tell them about the science fairs, because I know that if you learn about a science fair, you'll be excited and you try to get in. Just tell them. But how? Facebook? Twitter? Maybe, yeah. But I, I, I still don't know why, how I could do that. And when I came back home, a friend that I had met in the Intel ISAF, Aitor, Skyped me. And he said, Marcel, I have some friends and we are starting uh, an NGO. We are trying to make an NGO to go to schools and talk to high school students about science first, giving them the same opportunity we have. I was, oh my god, that's awesome, that's, that's the answer for my question, it was incredible, yeah, I mean, what, do I need to sign something, I mean, and he said, okay, that's incredible, but now, 2016, four years later, that association is bigger. Thanks to two amazing companies, we have today and some other programs, and we have a program that I really want to talk about to you. There is a scientific journal uh, that just publishes uh, high school students' articles. And we have DOI, ISBN, and that's incredible but because we are recognizing projects from high school students and we are talking about real research and that's incredible and that's thanks to two amazing companies that believed in us Intel and Global Change Makers supported us to grow and they said hey I don't care if you are 18 19 years old boys and girls trying to make something different I like what you are doing and we will help you and I, I'm, yeah, thanks to them, that's awesome. But back in 2012, uh, our work was just go to schools and talk to high school students. And I was visiting a, a private school when I knew an amazing student, Lucas. He was so excited about going to science fairs and he said, oh my God, what I need to do? Please tell me, I, I want to go there. And I was, okay, keep calm, you need a teacher, you need a project, you have some steps, and okay, but you could help me. I was, yeah, I can try to have, talk to your teachers and things like that, but I mean, you have to make a project, that, that's not easy. And he said, yeah, but I can try, that's a, 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 yeah, I, I will do that. And he did. One year later, in 2013, Lucas went for the first time to Fabrasi, as I did. And I was so glad for him, because for the first time, I was watching someone having the same opportunity I had. And I was so proud to have participated in this process somehow. But Lucas' experience made me think again about my experience about the 1,500 miles that I had to travel. And he did as well. But the thing is, when I was in school, my school paid for everything. His school paid for everything. How about the others? How about the other students that cannot afford that travel? They cannot have the chance to go to a science fair. And one more time, I had to ask myself, what could I do to give the same opportunity to other people? But now, I'm talking about people that cannot afford that travel, and if the opportunity is far from them, I need to bring that near them. How? I was not ready to answer that yet. But I, I had to try. I called people on Intel and Mr. Ruben Saldanha was telling me like, hey, you can 
try something different. Try a science fair. You are in the middle of the Amazon. And I was like, yeah, but I'm 18. And he's like, yeah, it doesn't matter. You know, like you are doing so many different and smart things there. You can try something different. And people in our organization was, oh, Abriki can help you in everything that you need to make that happen. I was, really? I need $10,000. They were, yeah, we can help you emotionally, yeah. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, I don't have that money. Yeah. And they were like, hey, Marcel, but you can try to find someone that has. Mm, interesting. And I decided to knock out the door of the girlfriend. Yeah, they probably have. And I knock, out, I do, I knock on the door of the Department of Science and Technology. And I said, hey, out there, we are having amazing opportunities to a lot of people, to a lot of high school students. And here, you are not doing anything. Why? And they said, I don't know what you're talking about. And one more time, I was meeting people that didn't know anything about science fairs, about Fabrasi, about ISAF. And I started trying to tell them how to do that. It's pretty simple. You have a website. The finalists or the, the high school students who submit their projects in the website. You have some college professors. The college professor will, will look at the projects and they will see uh, which are the best. And the best projects go to attend a four-day science fair. In the last day, you can give them awards and you can get affiliations. That's a good thing for science fairs because affiliations, uh, by affiliation, mean, means that you can put your best projects in another science fair, in a bigger science fair. And he said, yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I think we can do that. But affiliation, uh, I don't know yet what you're talking about. Maybe we need your help. Maybe you can help us to make that happen. And I was like, yeah. In my mind, I was like, oh my God, I came here to ask for help. They're asking my help. Yeah, yeah, I mean, one more time. But he said, like, wait, you said four days science fair? I think they're expensive. Oh. I said, okay, three days, fine. <laughs> it's, it's really fine. Three days science fair? I think that's too expensive. And I was, oh my god, I, I know where they, these guys are going. They are going to a one day science fair and I cannot, I cannot allow that. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I have to do something different. I have to be more serious. You know, like he's just thinking, he's just 18 years old, we'll do what we want. I was, oh, I, I need to be more serious. I was like, okay, but oh, hey man, we need two days. We need one day to present the project and we, we, need, we need one more day to do awards. You know, I, I'm not kidding anymore. I, we need two days. And he said like, oh yeah, I was going to two days. I was, really? Okay. <laughs> anyway, it happened. In 2013, the first Amazon Science Fair, it's in Portuguese, but the first Amazon Science Fair with 35 projects, 24 awards, and four affiliated fairs, including Febrasi. We were sending two projects to Febrasi. It was amazing. And you can see we didn't have like a lot of fancy stuff. We had like plastic chairs and plastic tables and some uh, poster stands. But I mean, it was enough. You know, it was enough to make that happen. But in 2014, better, with more fancy stuff. More projects, more awards, and more, more, we won more 
affiliated fair. That affiliated fair is really important for us because it is a science fair here in the US, the Genius Olympiad. And thanks to Aitor that he was studying here in the US and he said, oh, I can try to call someone to try to get some kind of affiliation uh, with your science fair. And I was, yeah, who knows? And he said, like, yeah, I called the, the, the professor and he said, like, oh my god, that's awesome. You have a science fair in the middle of the Amazon. And we have the biggest sustainable science fair. Makes a lot of sense to us. You send your projects to our science fair. Yeah, it was incredible. For the first time, we were giving the opportunity uh, of the people of our city and all some cities around our city to attend an international science fair. It was really, really incredible. In 2015, I had to come to US to study here at Alma. And I was not there, but it was bigger. I was not there to help. It was bigger, it was better, more projects, more awards, and more affiliated firms. That's incredible to see today where is the Amazon Science Fair. It is a governmental program that will happen every single year in the house, in the middle of the Amazon. After three editions of the Amazon Science Fair, more than 300 students have the same opportunity I had. And I, I'm really glad for them. I'm really, really glad for them. But before we finish, I would like you to think about an opportunity you had in your life that helped, as I said, helping you to be who you are today. Keep that in mind and ask yourself, what could I do to give the same opportunity to other people? If you don't know the answer yet, it's fine. I can guarantee you, you still have time to figure it out. You can ask yourself a lot of times, as I did. But, however, if you already know the answer, what are you waiting for? Thank you.